Stacy Burke here. Just thought I would sit down and chat with you. Um, because I, you know, I like to do that every once in a while. And yes, I'm wearing Sands of A A I don't know. I don't really follow Harry Potter. I got this at um, Movies on the Beach when they're playing Harry Potter, and this is Hogwarts. They want to make it look like a Sons of Anarchy type of shirt, so I just cut it up and stuff. Just chat with you for a little bit. Uh, went after work. I had to do a few things uh, to find like Catwoman stuff because I'm still on a quest for Catwoman stuff. You'll see in my uh, snaps. I can't find the extra small. They do make an extra small for rubies. Uh, that 1966 Catwoman costume that I've been looking for. They do make one, but it's hard to find one online. And everyone says, "Oh, why don't you get it tailored?" No, I don't have time for that, and I don't want any bubbles. I just want an extra small. I do have a PVC cat suit, um, and I could like make my homemade Catwoman, but I kind of wanted the rubies one. I wanted the like everything pretty much authentic. But we'll see, we'll see. We're still looking for Batgirl. Um. Anyway, like if you followed my snaps like from last week, and you're wondering what's going on with the AI thing. Let me kind of explain a little bit. I don't even know what's going on. There's this local pub here in Long Beach, and it used to be owned by these other people. And I remember being a kid, my mom would always pass by it. She goes, don't ever go to a bar that's all closed down like that. It's shady, da 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 da. And it was like kind of this rundown dive pub. Well, then they sold it to this other people and they made it really nice. They opened it up and it turned into like really cool hub and I don't know if the other people are jealous or I don't know if it's like a, a work thing. I don't know if it's some kind of I don't know some kind of legal thing but the old owners got pissed off and basically just came in, changed the locks got rid of all the staff, kicked them out, and basically took over the the bar, uh, like Mutiny on the Bounty. Just kind of took it over, uh, had their own staff, and they can't do credit cards. They can only do cash, and they're just basically in business, and I don't see how that's legal. I don't get it. Even if it's a legality thing, most of the time, you close down the place until they hash it out in court. Well, the court date is tomorrow, Thursday, which is the 12th. In the meantime, the old owners just took it over. And I just don't understand how that's legal. I mean, I, I mean I'm i sure there's maybe like the new owners didn't pay something or something. I'm sure there's some kind of legality reasons, but I just don't see how you could just take over a bar like that and then get rid of the staff, which is not fair to the old staff, and put in your own, own staff and just kind of just take over more like mutiny on the bounty like you know like how the pirates used to just take over a ship uh anyway that that's to clarify the last snaps from last week i don't know and i'm a little annoyed too at uh, work because um business has been slow business has been slow everywhere for some reason i don't know why maybe it's just my area maybe it's your area too and uh so i've been you know trying to step up the game and try to figure out ways to increase business so I I started uh, putting stuff on Facebook on the business Facebook site saying you know giving some coupons out and saying like okay fluff and fold 20% off da, 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 da. well today my boss came in I guess he was annoyed because business have not been picking up and he goes has anyone came in with your coupons I go no not yet and uh, have we got any new customers I go no not yet and he goes well well then, I've just been losing money, this 20% off fluff and fold. I'm not really happy. Now granted, it's the 11th of October, 11 days in. He doesn't like the October special anymore. So I'm like, okay, like I'm thinking we'll give it a chance. Maybe we haven't got any new customers right away. But in the meantime, the old customers are liking the 20% off. So at least you're kind of making the old customers happy, which is consistent and makes them stay. And they've been doing kind of construction on the sidewalk, so I know that's probably, you know, I don't know. So it's like all my ideas to try to increase business, he's just not interested. But then he's a CPA. He's like, you know, he's, he's so 
I decided at work, you know what, maybe I, I got too involved and tried to help out too much. Maybe I should step back and just be a worker. Just be hired talent, right? I mean, this is not my first rodeo. I've I worked other places, like I worked at a brewery where I had ideas and I wanted to increase business. And you know what, there's some people that just don't want to hear it or they don't want to give it a try, which I'm not saying my ideas are great, but I figured just give it a try. But you know what, sometimes all they want is a yes ma'am, yes, yes sir, uh, worker, you just nod your head and you just do what needs to be done. Don't go outside too much of, you know, the call of duty because sometimes when you go outside the call of, I mean, it's sad to say because I would always think like, you know, when you hire someone and they're going outside the call of duty and they really care about the job, that should be applauded, I guess. But there's some people that they think they, they know it. So just let it be. Some people think if you just raise the prices, raise the prices, raise the prices, that's how you make the money. But I hate to tell my boss, so the reason why there's probably no new business because he raised the prices and he, he kind of changed a few things and, and that's probably why. <laughs> anyway, this is like just a little rant, just a little rant. Like, it's just like, I don't know. And I thought I would include also a little video here of my new kind of workout routine. You know how like when it's slow or when I got extra time in between stuff, I do work out at work because then I don't have to do it after work. And we have those uh, poles, you know, to, to hold the dry cleaning. So I use them for pull-ups. And now I started dancing. Like I'll put on my music and I'll dance and I'll hold on to the poles. Not exactly like a stripper pole. They don't go this way. They go this way. And so I've been kind of having fun. So I kind of threw on the, the video. So um, you'll see me acting a fool. Acting a fool. That's about it. I mean, I'm just like doing the normal stuff. Like you're working, doing, like I get up at, you know, four o'clock-ish still. I still do my animal chores and I do work out and then I go to work and then I do my um, my dry clean deliveries and then I come home clean the house or go grocery shopping and I still like try to um, book some um, photo shoots uh, as you know I still do fetish modeling and I think I have one coming up um, fairly soon so that's going to be coming up um, and yeah I'm still doing stuff on the weekends however as you know uh, I haven't really been talking to one of my good friends lately ever since. If you saw the video about uh, he snatched my purse and my phone away, it explains it. And you know what's weird? He's never reached out to me to say he was sorry, which is odd because what, I mean, people get in fights, people have disagreements, people have falling out, but to take someone's purse and to take someone's phone away, and then leave them stranded to walk home without their purse or phone. You know, what if there's an emergency? Like, uh, you would think they would at least try to contact you and say they're sorry, right? Nope. Not a peep. Not a peep. I don't know if he remembers it wrong. Who knows? Maybe he thinks like he's justified because, well, you didn't get in the car. But I wouldn't get in the car. After he snatched my purse and my phone away, you know, basically you're going to bully me to get in your car just so you could just yell at me and, 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 and it rewards you for stealing my purse and my phone. So, yeah, so I haven't really been contacting him with that. Last weekend was kind of like a staycation. I didn't really do anything. I just rode my bike all weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. I have a few plans, but last weekend I pretty much just stayed to myself. I rode my bike along the beach and I just kind of did, um, I just pretty much just stayed home. I didn't really go anywhere. It was kind of nice because after working, you always have to rush here and rush there for work and doing errands. And then the weekends for the past few months, I've been running because there's always been stuff going on the weekend. So it was kind of nice just to stay home and just kind of relax. You'll see the Snapchats. I'll probably put all the Snapchats um, up uh, for Friday. I usually try to hold on for like a week of Snapchats and put it all f on Friday. So you'll probably see that. I guess that's it. Uh, I did go um, find this candy store and I got a bunch of licorice. I should probably showed you the licorice. You know those old-fashioned candy 
shops. Well, I kind of stopped by it because I was kind of craving some licorice. I'm a weirdo that likes licorice, but not just the black licorice. I like uh, the red licorice. They had like um, di different kinds of soda pop flavored licorice. They had a Dr. Pepper licorice. They had like a pina colada licorice. They had all different flavors. And then they had like these gummy bears that was like anise, 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 is that what it's called? I don't know why I like licorice, but I like all different flavors of licorice. And they were so yummy. I had to stop because that's one thing I could eat. I, I'm a weirdo. A lot of people don't like licorice. I'm not really a fan of the black jelly beans. Like I don't like that so much, but I do like the old fashioned like red vines and, and and even the the black red vines what do they call I guess it's black vines I don't know um, those are okay but nothing is good as when you go to a real candy store and you buy the real licorice the you know the, the little ropes oh my god they're so good I don't know if I'm the only one that likes licorice but I do like licorice and I'm not really that much into candy but after sometimes you eat something and you, you know, you have a taste in your mouth, like whatever you've eaten, you know, you just want to like cleanse your palate. Uh, sometimes a good piece of licorice is really good. I really like it. Um, that's, about, yeah, that's all I really got. I mean, there's other like uh, story times I want to talk to you about, but those um, are like a full on story time on certain things. And there is stuff going on you know with me like you know my friend is no longer my friend and and just you know going to the divorce little things like that but nothing really big right now everything's just just getting ready for Halloween trying to find that Catwoman costume and trying to find a go-go girl a bat girl if you don't know what I'm talking about just look at my video the last one um, desperately seeking bat girl because we're looking for one because uh, Rayford Brothers, uh, they do that Batman, Bat uh, Band uh, thing through the month, and they and they get hired to do a lot of gigs, and they need they usually like to have a Cat Girl and a, and a Bat Girl, Cat Woman and a Bat Girl, go go dance, and it's usually the 1960s from the TV show. So that is one of that's one of the things I'm still in the process of doing. I think I'm going to go on Amazon and look for a cat suit. As long as I find the perfect cat suit and the belt. That's all I really need is a cat suit and the belt. So, okay, well, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to share a little bit of the video of me playing on the monkey bars at work, okay? So I hope all you guys are having a great day. All my stays cadets on the cats. Until next time, peace.